Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the fourth tutorial in the series of tutorials on Arduino and in this tutorial we are going to learn about 7 segment LED display. So this is how a 7 segment LED looks like. It has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 LEDs over here but we are in this tutorial considering these 7 LEDs only. So we will be using the common cathode LEDs so all the LEDs will be connected like this internally in this uh, package. So this is how it looks like in real. So I can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 LEDs over here. And I have the connections pins for these over here. So this is A, this is B, this is C, this is D and this is E, then F and G. And then I have this this one pin, this is called P, which is for the dot or DP, which is called. And this one, this middle pin and this middle pin is the ground pin which we will connect to the Arduino's ground. So in order to print uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 a group of LEDs has to be turned on and other has to be turned off in order to see a particular pattern like this. It is 4. So if we want to see a 0 then we will have to turn on the LED A, B, C, D, E and F and we will turn off this one and now let's see the code. So I have a sketch opened up here which is called 7 segment display. So I have 7 variables defined over here which are A, B, C, D, E, F, G which are connected to the pins 12, 10, 10, 9, 8, 7 and 6. So in the setup mode I will define them all as a output piece of device. Now before going to the loop function I will just go here. I have made functions for every letter to be printed. So I have here void 0 which is for printing 0. So I will have to make sure that my LEDs uh, A, B, C, D, E, F and G are high and sorry g is low and others are high so this will print the letter 0 and for 1 i have b and c as high and for 2 a b d e and g and similarly all the subroutines or you can say functions are written then after printing the function I will write it in the void loop function to call them continuously so first I am calling 0 then I am having a delay of 1 second then calling 1 then delay of 1 second and like this 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 then again we will have 0. So I have already made the required connections so I will just make sure that my board is connected yes my board is connected so I will upload the code into it so my code is uploaded so this is how it works that's all for this tutorial thank you so much i hope you like it you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already.